Hey, Barbara Saxton, CEO of Smart Choices Healthcare. And I hope everybody had a great 4th of July and uh, happy Monday. Um, today, we're going to talk about healthcare tips and the new frontier. I'm going to give you some latest and greatest on the healthcare horizon and some ways that you can save money and hopefully some things that uh, you will get excited about uh, when it comes to healthcare. Um, before I do that, though, I want to introduce Smart Choices Healthcare, and I have um, a little video here. It's about a minute, and uh, I'm going to let our client, Bob, tell you a little bit about our organization. So let me know if you can't hear it, because I wasn't sure about the audio. So. Meet Bob. Bob is a small business owner who is having trouble keeping employees and wants to help them offset their health care costs, but doesn't know what to do. Bob luckily discovers Smart Choices, who helps him take advantage of the latest healthcare laws. Now he can offer his employees benefits that will give them freedom of choice and address the rising cost of healthcare. Bob can customize a benefit plan and choose to contribute any amount that works within his budget without the need for an open enrollment, messy reporting, or getting those costly annual renewals. Through Smart Choices clear and simple communication, outstanding customer service, and experience working with small business owners. They help Bob create an affordable alternative for his employees, which means they're happier, healthier, and able to focus on work rather than worrying about affording their doctor's visits. Plus, Bob's business gets the tax deduction. To see how Smart Choices can make a difference in your small business, reach out today. Okay, so hopefully everybody could hear that. Um, Good. Okay. So um, let's talk a little bit about healthcare and the new frontier. Clearly, with all of the challenges in the market today, um, healthcare is changing and rapidly changing. It's going to take some out of the box thinking um, and changing the consumer's mindset about how they utilize healthcare, how they access it, in order to kind of move us forward. Uh, so, customize and personalized care uh, where and when you want it. You probably have seen the commercials lately with CVS delivering prescriptions to your front door, just like pizza delivery, um, uh, healthcare is coming to you versus you going uh, to it. Amazon and Apple are getting into the healthcare industry in a big way. Amazon just purchased PillPack, and you might have seen this as well, uh, commercials for this. I don't know if you remember um, the plastic pill tray that had Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, our parents used, or maybe our grandparents. And uh, they've conveniently put that now in a little pack, so you don't have to have that any longer. And um, when Amazon picked up this organization, we knew that Amazon was gonna get into the pharmacy arena. So soon you'll go into Amazon to buy your goods um, that you do today, and maybe your grocery shopping, but you'll also be purchasing or able to purchase your prescriptions through Amazon as well. Apple, um, the iWatch, which many of us have already has really cool features to it. Like it'll tell you how many steps you have. It will um, measure your heart rate, tell you to breathe, tell you to walk more steps, etc. But soon the Apple Watch will be able to detect stroke. Um, high blood pressure, uh, call 911 if you need um, assistance, diabetes testing, EKG. Your watch is soon going to become kind of your single point of contact for all of your uh, numbers and all of um, how you access healthcare. Um, some of that's already here today, but it is ever evolving. Walmart, Uber, and Lyft are getting into the transportation business when it comes to healthcare. So one of the biggest concerns in healthcare access is the elderly sometimes do not have transportation and the underserved population as well. So, you know, think about it when you go for surgery, somebody's got to take you because anesthesia is being um, administered, maybe stay there, or come back and get you. Well, Uber and Lyft are hiring more of an EMT driver. So this person can take you to the surgery, can either wait there for a cost or come back and pick you up, saving time, money, but more importantly, ensuring that you have transportation to your um, healthcare services. At-home testing for COVID-19 is in the works. Everyone has probably seen the Cologuard commercial, the box that talks about colon testing and um, uh, uh, preventing uh, colon cancer. And 
just like a pregnancy test, COVID-19 uh, tests will be delivered to your doorstep. Currently in FDA approval stage, some of the antibody testing you can order on your own and have that shipped to you today. So ever evolving um, arena with healthcare coming to you uh, as a convenience. Let's talk a little bit about prescriptions and medical comparison tools. Some of these you're probably aware of like GoodRx. Um, WellCard is a version of GoodRx, but a little bit of expanded version. Discounts on uh, doctor's office, vision, dental, chiropractic care, supplements. Both GoodRx and WellCard are free. Uh, I've hotlinked the WellCard, you can click on it. It's no cost to you for you and family members. And um, uh, use it, you know, you call the number and you can use it anywhere that, that accepts WellCard or uh, GoodRx. Copay assistance, this is a biggie. Um, Many people have very high cost drugs in the thousands of dollars. A uh, little known secret is the federal government actually has a copay assist program. They pay the pharmaceutical on your behalf. Um, all you have to do is inquire with a pharmaceutical company if they have copay assist. Um, the process is very easy to apply for and in many, many cases is not income, uh, it does not need to be a low income for the assistance. Medical market, this is a very cool tool. So, you know, when you pull up Google Maps for restaurants, hotels, and places to go, well, there's an app for what doctors to see, what surgeries are available at what price in your area. Lowest cost prescription, GoodRx and WellCard are built into those, uh, what we call geofencing apps. So really cool tools to be able to help you as a consumer shop for best pricing. Karis 360 is a medical concierge service. So not a medical uh, concierge doctor, but a medical concierge service. If you have Keras 360, and many health plans have this built in, um, for example, if I needed elbow surgery, I would call up Keras, they would schedule the surgery for me, they'd make sure I went to the appointment, they'd follow up with the surgeon, they'd follow up with my primary care physician. When my bill came, if I needed assistance in um, paying for that or understanding the bill or maybe, you know, is it correct or negotiating it for me, they would do that as well. So you can see there are a lot of tools that are evolving in healthcare. Um, everybody looks at the cost going up, but there's a lot of uh, research and development really out there to help us uh, save money. If you're a Florida Blue member, a lot of these tools are incorporated in your Florida Blue plan. Aetna and CVS just merged, taking healthcare to retail, or retail coming to healthcare. Uh, pretty soon you're gonna walk into your CVS, you're gonna look to the right, you're gonna see um, your typical CVS, you know, food, your toothpaste, uh, your hair products. Um, and then you're gonna look to your left and it's gonna be like a medical facility. Doctors will be there, um, testing, so you can get uh, uh, x-ray. Your prescriptions, of course, will be there. You can get a, a physical there, immunizations, et cetera. So the merger between Aetna and CVS is really gonna kick off this really full-blown retail concept. Again, making healthcare easy for you to access. One of the best kept secrets in the market is lab testing. A lot of people think you have to go to your doctor to get a lab test, and that is simply not the case. Um, for many years, you've had the ability to go on, uh, you can Google lab tests, or I put life extensions on here, that's the um, uh, vendor that I use. You can order any lab test you like, um, your preventative care lab test, um, you know, a T a TSH for thyroid, um, sugar tests, um, you can order just about, you know, hormone tests, anything that you want, you pay for it through um, the online portal. You take the slip to LabCorp or Quest. They draw the blood. They give you the results. They give you a comprehensive report. What do the numbers mean and what can you do um, to improve them, et cetera. And so you can basically have a lab test anytime you want. It's very convenient and very cost effective because you don't need to go to the primary care doctor. Mm -hmm. Telemed. Uh, telemed just got catapulted <laughs> into mainstream with COVID, with the COVID pandemic. Um, 
Telemed was actually a visionary idea in 1924. It took to 1995, about 70 years later, for Telemed to really materialize. Um, we use a vendor called MD Live, and Telemed is um, very, very cool if you haven't used it. A lot of health plans today have it embedded and incorporated in them. So what does Telemed cost? Um, MD Live is an example, is $200 a year, but it's unlimited visits. You, all family members, if you wanted to call every single day, could call, no copay, no deductible. Um, how do you access the care? You do so through your phone, through your iPad or your computer. So it can be a virtual visit or it can be a telephonic visit, either way, whatever you prefer. The doctors are real. Um, something that happened back in March of this year when uh, we were kind of on shutdown, many physicians with Lee Health and NCH rushed to get certification with telemed. They have to be certified. They can't just participate. It costs about $180 to be certified. So now you have a lot more doctors in the market, probably your primary care who's able to do telemed services. Can you get your prescription filled? Absolutely, um, provided it's not a narcotic. And if your condition is serious, they'll direct you to the urgent care or call 911 on your behalf. What's the future of telemed? Very exciting. Dermatology has just been launched. So you no longer really have to visit the dermatologist. You can take a picture of the issue, the rash, the, the skin condition, and a dermatologist will diagnose it for you. Uh, pet care is on the horizon. Um, we think this is gonna be big in telemed. People love their pets and um, access to care for their pet is really important so they don't have to uh, get in the car, drive to the veterinary clinic, unless it's absolutely necessary. There becomes a point where you have to go beyond telemed, um, but prior to that, this is a big convenience. Drug rehab is definitely um, in the beginning stages, but look for that soon. And virtual OB. Whenever I bring up virtual OB, people are like, okay, Barbara, what kind of virtual OBGYN visit is this? <laughs> it, it's, not, it's not what you're thinking, trust me. Um, it is, it's strictly well care. So it's, you know, you're, you're, maybe you're pregnant and you need to see your OBGYN on a monthly basis. Um, it's just adding that layer of convenience. But telemed is really uh, uh, very popular now and here to stay. Okay, so thank you. I know I had to keep this short and sweet, but I just wanted to point out some cool tips and tricks um, to healthcare. And I know Robin is sending this out as well, but this is a, let's see if you can see this. This is a really cool piece. Uh, Resources for Living is an organization that puts together everything you could think of under the sun um, to help you in mental well being. And so, you, ha you will have this and all kinds of links on coping with COVID-19, grief and loss, managing finances, tips for parents and their children. There are some, um, some of these pieces that are in Spanish as well, workplace changes, job loss resources, et cetera. Um, I found this piece to be very beneficial. Feel free to distribute it to anybody you know. Uh, there's no cost or charge for that. And with that, I will wrap it up. Thank you.